Welcome to our video series on maintenance and reliability. I'm Ryan Chan, the CEO and founder of Upkeep. In this episode, we are going to explore the topic of equipment downtime, its impacts, and how to efficiently manage it. You'll learn why tracking equipment downtime is crucial, how to calculate it, and effective strategies to reduce it in your production environment. By the end of this video, you will have a solid understanding of how to leverage downtime data to optimize your operations and boost productivity. Let's get started. Let's dive right into the topic of equipment downtime. What is it exactly? Well, equipment downtime is the time when your equipment is not operating. This could be due to an unplanned failure, like a fault or broken part, or planned downtime for preventive maintenance. Usually when we talk about equipment downtime, we're referring to unexpected downtime that occurs when the production process stops. Now, why is tracking equipment downtime so important? There are a few reasons. Firstly, it serves as a diagnostic tool for your facility's maintenance and production efforts. For instance, if your equipment downtime is high, it could mean that preventive maintenance isn't being performed properly or there are problems with your production setup. Conversely, a low maintenance downtime figure can indicate a generally healthy production environment. Furthermore, tracking downtime on a per area basis can provide even more detailed insights. Say, if downtime is especially high in the final assembly portion of your production line, it's clear where improvements need to be made. In this way, tracking downtime becomes a method of mapping out the overall health of each individual part of your production. And while it might seem expensive to track downtime with a computerized maintenance management system, the potential savings from knowing where issues lie and eliminating them can be far greater. A world-class standard for equipment downtime is anything less than 10% meaning that your equipment should be running at 90% availability or greater. So how do you calculate equipment downtime? The first step is to figure out what kind of downtime you want to calculate. Let's take an example. Say a factory has some issues with machines faulting out, which is the main portion of their downtime. To calculate the cost of this downtime, you'd look at the loss of revenue over downtime periods. This is done by looking at how many products are produced in a certain time period, say per hour against the amount of money made from each product. Then, these numbers are measured against how much downtime has occurred. For instance, if you produce 10 units per hour and make a profit of $50 per unit, each hour is worth $500. If there are four hours of downtime, you've lost $2,000 in those four hours alone. Now, imagine how large these lost revenue figures can be if the downtime is higher or if the product is more profitable it's easy to see why this is so important to track and fix as quickly as possible. Now that you've tracked and calculated the average losses due to downtime, it's time to think about how to reduce it. Downtime data is extremely valuable, not only for profit loss, but for maintenance prioritization and proper resource allocation. You can reduce downtime by investing in a robust computerized maintenance management system that can track a large variety of fields, ensuring a well-documented preventive or predictive maintenance schedule with high schedule compliance, installing and maintaining sensor equipment for condition-based maintenance, documenting maintenance processes to resolve downtime events swiftly, and backing up important systems that can be lost to errors. Moreover, a facility's maintenance culture can also play a significant role in reducing equipment downtime. Fostering a culture based on proactive maintenance solutions is as important as installing sensors or creating maintenance documentation. Finally, let's talk about the benefits of tracking equipment downtime. Apart from providing a health map of a facility's production and manufacturing environment, it also helps in better prioritization of maintenance staff, gives managers an inside look into necessary replacement and repair priorities, allows for more accurate implementation of corrective maintenance tasks, raises profit and lowers maintenance costs, especially on replacement equipment in emergency cases, and results in higher machine uptime, efficiency, and reliability due to preventive or predictive maintenance plans being effectively implemented. So as you can see, understanding, tracking, and managing equipment downtime is crucial for the success of your maintenance and operations teams. And that brings us to the end of our video. We hope you found this information on equipment downtime, its impacts, and how to manage it valuable. Remember, tracking downtime is key to optimizing your operations and boosting productivity. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insights like these. For more resources and tools to help your maintenance and reliability teams be more successful, visit upkeep.com.
Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.